Hey Scorpios, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to do a general love reading. Only take the parts that resonate with you if they do, okay? And if any of this does apply, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? Anyway, let's jump in and get straight to the point. Let's start with the first. You're on the left, there on the right. So you got the Hermit and the King of Swords that flow out, okay? All right, so some of you, it looks like you decided to really pull your energy back from this person. You're not taking any kind of action towards them or showing them any kind of signs that you still want this to move forward, okay? Some of you, this could be a Virgo. Leo is here, maybe an Aquarius. I'm picking up Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, okay? But yeah, the Hermit isn't very talkative or social. Yep, so obviously you're not taking any action towards this person. Now, for those of you where this ended or this person hasn't been talking either, with this King of Swords, it looks like you're detaching from this or it's like, fuck it. Shit, we ain't got to talk and you ain't got to reach out and I'm not going to either, you know, so I feel like some of you, you're really starting to uh, disconnect from the situation. At least some of you are, okay? All right, so they got the Hermit, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Sun card reverse that flew out. All right, so some of them, they're not saying anything. You know, somebody got ghosted here or this connection may have come to an end, but this person still thinks about you. Yes, probably more than what you think they do. All right, Scorpio, I don't know if that matters to you or not, but they still reflect on this connection or whatever went wrong here, okay? Because I feel like some of you, either it was due to a third party or this person wasting your time, breadcrumbing you, stringing you along, or it was something about their behavior, their energy that some of you just don't resonate with anymore, okay? So I feel like you may have outgrown this person or this you know whole situation here okay now some of them feel like you're the one that's hurt them yep they feel like the victim here or you know because the three of swords speaks about pain disappointment rejections losses things like that so they may feel like you just don't even care anymore okay especially with you having this king of swords they may feel like you just don't feel the same way at, at this point okay all right and some of you don't some of you do still have love for them but others of you like i was saying it looks like you've disconnected here okay with this ten of swords no king of swords but being that i said that on accident that does speak about an ending, sometimes a permanent one, okay? All right, so I feel like some of you, this person, they feel... Um very lonely, okay, with the hermit or rejected or miserable here with that sun card in the reverse position. They still reflect on what this connection used to be, though, okay? So I feel like some of you things definitely went left with you and this person or fell apart here, and they still feel some type of way about it, okay? Not to sound too repetitive or whatever, but they still get in their feelings, basically, okay, with that three of swords. Some of it was a third party going on. Yep, all right, or you suspected that it was. Okay, so you got the uh, star card, queen of cups, and the eight of wands in your past position. All right, so it's two groups of you, okay? Because some of you, you feel, yep, or you're trying to, okay? So, yeah, I feel like this connection, or it could have been other people besides them, too, that you just don't care about dealing with anymore, you know? So, it's certain situations that you've you've gotten over it, yep? So, a lot of you are focused on yourself, your own energy here, self-love, self-care. Some of you are famous, or you have some sort of talent that could put you in the uh, spotlight. Some of you has to do with your voice or singing or some sort of creative energy that you have, okay, Scorpio? But yeah, when it gets back to this uh, person here, some of you feel like there's just not a connection there anymore. You know, even if you do think about them, you know, it looks like you've uh, pretty much detached from this. Okay. And I feel like you don't have any more resentment or anger towards them. Maybe you've made peace with the situation with the star card. And some of you, if you're single, maybe you're open to attracting a new person now. Okay. All right. Yep. So if the right type of person were to show up, some of you might be willing to entertain it. Okay. As long as they're not too much of a distraction for you or, you know, come with any kind of confusion and dysfunction because you don't have time for that shit anymore. Okay, Scorpio. All right. Now for others of you, it looks like you may still have some sort of feelings for this person. Okay. I don't know if it's someone new or you already have history with them, but the queen of cups does speak about feelings. Yes. Desire, some sort of an emotional attachment or soft spot for this person. And some of you have talked to them with that eight of wands. Some of you met them online or they live at a distance. Or if this person was to reach out, like say, for example, there's no contact here, but if they were to take action, some of you might be willing to hear what they have to say or respond to them. Okay. All right. So they've got the world card, Ace of Cups and the uh, Ten of Cups in their past position. Uh, position. Okay. So some of you have a new person here or a new person could be coming in. Yep. Now for others of you, this is the one you already have history with. It seems like the cycle had closed out, okay? But maybe this person has had some time, okay, to reflect over the situation and realize, you know what? 
maybe I actually do want this relationship. Maybe I am ready now, you know, because before maybe they weren't, or it was just some other shit that was going on that was, you know, creating a lot of negativity or, you know, uh, confusion, dysfunction between the two of you. Okay. But some of you, this person might be open to giving this a second chance if you're willing to. Okay. And some of you have heard from them with this ace of cups. Okay. Now for some of you, a very small group, they're already in another relationship. Yeah. Maybe they're married or some of you could be married to this person or they're some sort of an affair going on here. Yep. All right. So you've got the uh, will of fortune, ace of wands and the high priestess in your current position. Will of fortune speaks about things going in your favor. Yep. Some of you, this may have to do with work or creative projects or just other things that you're doing or focusing on. So maybe you're not even concerned about this person. You're focused on your own life, your own path here. Okay, Scorpio. All right. Now for others of you, when it does come back to this uh, situation or your love life, some of you do have desire and attraction towards them, or maybe you're willing to give this some sort of second chance or entertain this with the Ace of Wands, but it looks like you're also pulling back though. Okay. With this high priestess or... Maybe it's, you know, maybe some of you feel they should be the one, okay, to initiate this contact because it doesn't look like some of you are going to do it, okay, at least not here in this uh, current position. All right, so anyway, they've got the Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, no, Ace of Swords, excuse me, and the Knight of Cups in their current position. I see a date here. Yeah, some of you, maybe you have been in contact with this person. You guys have been talking about coming together, hooking up, hanging out, whatever the case is. And then for others of you, this is the one that things had ended with. And this is them entertaining the idea of you guys getting back on the same page, reconciling. Okay. All right. And some of them have come towards you, or maybe they've been trying to figure out what they should say to speak their truth or admit that, hey, let's, you know, kind of move this forward again. Are you open to this? Or I still have feelings for you. I still want you, whatever the case is here. Okay. All right. So. You've got the uh, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands in the near future. King of Pentacles speaks about money. You being very secure, okay, when it comes to your financial condition, your goals, your job, your business, things like that. Some of you could be looking for a new job here with this um, Ace of Pentacles. Yep, and very focused on your your stability here, okay, your home life, all of that. Things just really being on track and in order for you, okay, with this uh, Four of Wands. Now, for others of you, when it comes back to this person and situation, some of you actually do see value in this. Yep. So maybe they have, you know, certain qualities about them that you are attracted to. And some of you are willing to put effort into this, maybe even see them in person. Okay. With this uh, four wines, that speaks about people being around each other face to face and maybe a date or hooking up, hanging out, whatever the case is here. Okay. All right. So they got the four wines, the magician. No, not the four wines. Okay. The, um, the uh, four of swords, but being that I said the four of wands on accident, yeah, that speaks again about people coming together here. Okay, so some of them, if if you're open to it, they might be open to it as well. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, that's the four of swords, the magician, and the five of wands in their near future. Okay, so you know some of you may feel like this person they just weren't taking enough action before, but some of you I feel like this person with this four of swords this is actually them reflecting on the situation. They may take a step back from this, but they're kind of trying to figure out what they should do in order to get this going again, because they are still willing to entertain this if you are okay with this magician. And I feel like those of you that had a lot of conflicts with this person, or you guys just weren't getting along, your personalities were clashing. They don't want that type of energy anymore. They want to move forward peacefully. Okay. No drama this time. All right. With this five wands. Okay. All right. So that's what came out. If any of this apply, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. So you wish you the best. Take care.